Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Ray Coates, and I'm standing here for David Bowie. Uh, David, as you know, was due to come over today and, and present some videos, but he seems to have disappeared. Probably in the uh, tape library? Somewhere? I think I locked him in. I might have locked him in. So I'll, I'll just go on without him. Well, some time ago, 1972, when he was still Ziggy Stardust, he wrote a, another album called A Lad Insane. And uh, to, to connect those two together, he, he wrote one song on a Greyhound bus going from New York to Miami. Uh, to Miami, was it? Was it Miami, David? Memphis. No, Memphis. He wrote this song on a bus going from New York to Memphis, and, and uh, uh, they recorded it and mixed it when they got back to New York again. It was called Gene Genie, and it was, uh, it was a very early video. It was by Mick Rock. What you'll find very interesting is that this is the transition between Ziggy and a completely different character called Aladdin. Notice how it looks exactly like Ziggy Stardust. Isn't that clever? I always thought that was very clever of him. And also it's sort of proto-punk, except for the earring and the lipstick and no shirt. Mick Ronson's in this one. Here it is, Gene Jean. Jean. Wasn't that last one good? <laughs> um, I dressed up as a clown in this one. It's me, Ray Cox. <laughs> dressed up as a clown. This is a, a, a video that I did with David Mallet for a song called Ashes to Ashes, which was on the Scary Monsters uh, album. Um, we went down to the beach and I took a woman down there who looked like my mother. Um, uh, uh, that's, that's the surrealistic part of making videos. And I think it's probably one of the first videos that I actually storyboarded all the way through myself, which means I did all the drawings of what it should look like. Uh, I've never done it again. Probably this is the reason. It was a bizarre-looking thing. But the clown costume was based on a commedia dell'arte figure, Piero, of uh, uh, Italian comedy, Renaissance comedy. God, it's educational. Um, and uh, that's about a minute's worth, isn't it? <laughs> Not only... Uh, Ray told me that I had to talk for a minute. So this is Ashes to Ashes. Do you remember? That was me talking backwards. Wasn't that a good one? The uh, next video is uh, uh, called Wild is the Wind. Um, during the mid-70s, I, I uh, got to know uh, Nina Simone, who I've got incredible respect for as an artist and a composer and a singer. And even though she didn't actually write this particular song, it's one song that she, she that really, her performance of this song really uh, affected me. I thought it was just tremendous. So uh, I recorded it as an homage to Nina. And uh, I think what we were trying to do when we were filming this was just keep in mind the uh, jazz style of the, uh, the 50s jazz programs that were on, in, on American television at that time in the 50s. So this is the uh, black and white video of Wild is the Wind. That was a good one, wasn't it? Uh, have you got a good shot of these shoes? I love talking cameras. Don't you love talking cameras? Do that again. Have you got a good shot of these shoes? Yes. Um, red shoes featured in the, in the next video. Why red, I don't know. I guess they must stand for some symbol of uh, uh, good times or something like that. But uh, it was almost a, a symbol from the, the blues, the, the red shoes put on the good, red shoes and go for the good times. Um, when we got to Australia with uh, David Mallet, we did two videos out there, one of which was Let's Dance, featuring the red shoes. Um, and for the first time, I really, uh, I wanted to try and do something a little more um, telling with this particular video. And one of the things that uh, struck me, unfortunately, about the situation in, in Australia was the uh, inequality between the Aborigines and the rest of the population. Uh, so I rather awkwardly tried to make a point with this particular video around that subject matter and take it for what it is, but it was an attempt at observation of some social nature. This is called Let's Dance. 